he's someone that, that's quite interesting because he's been through Southampton for years now. I mean, he's gone through all the different managers under Southampton. And under Mark Hughes, he was benched quite a lot of time. And at one point, he was written off by fans even. It's quite a bit of a turnaround for him, Kevin. Uh, you have to give credit to the player. Um, you know, because when you do get criticised at a young age, when you have been at a club since you was a young lad, um, you know, sometimes it can be hard to come back from that. You know, you can't get away from it, especially if you're a local lad. So for me, a lot of credit goes down to the player, um, to showing that, determine that grit. It, obviously, he's got quality. We can see that. And I know, I remember I did a game uh, last season down there and we got to speak to him after the match and, and we asked him about his dead ball quality. Does he practice? He said, he said oh, well, like, after every training session, he'll take a bag of balls and he'll go and practice deliveries. He'll go and practice free kicks. And for me, you know, a young lad to do that just shows, you know, that he really wants to succeed in the game. So now he's reaping the rewards. It also helps that you're playing under a manager that believes in you, um, gives you the confidence. And, and I get the impression... That, that Ralph Hudson how he does that to his players. You know, the, the, the team spirit looks great. They're certainly working for him. Every player knows what they're doing when they go onto the pitch. So, you know, I thought Armstrong was excellent today. I know he's just signed a new deal. I thought he was excellent. Um, these sort of players kind of go under the radar, but they're certainly making a name for themselves now. Certainly Jane Ward's prowess. Of course, he's broken into the England squad as well. And uh, yeah, a lot of credit goes to the player for me. I mean, but how do you think the manager in this respect, then, David, has also helped the player? I mean, he seems to also be contributing more in terms of his defensive work in the departure of Pierre-Emil Hoiberg as well. I think the, the interesting thing is there. I mean, I've, I've been watching or following James Ward-Prowse for quite a few years now, especially with the under-21s. Um, I even joked to him after one of the games that because one of the, the sort of the discourse around James Ward-Prowse was that he was fantastic at set plays. Um, and I always thought, well, not many people score from his set plays and he doesn't score many himself. And I saw him in a petrol station after on a 21 game, mentioned it and he corrected me straight away saying, what about this one? What about that one? Um, and what Kev's saying is true. He's continued to work at this, uh, which is the most important thing. The, the best player in the world in this century, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, he does it. Why shouldn't James Ward-Prowse? But when you look at the manager and his influence, I think... If you look at the signings, Danny Ings, um, the likes of uh, Theo Walcott, um, McCarthy and Gold, you could say, and, and Forster. I mean, we're looking at goal, uh, players here who are, I wouldn't say rejects, that's the wrong word, but they've obviously gone from bigger clubs in Southampton to, and they're proving themselves at Southampton. And the likes of James Ward-Prowse are on the opposite traje trajectory. As a young player, as, as um, Kevin was saying there, that wasn't getting the recognition while others were, now, I think they're meeting in a, in a sort of purple place, a more purple patch at the moment, where James Royal Prowse is on the trajectory upwards. Danny Ings and the uh, likes of Walcott are proving themselves. Again, McCarthy, obviously not playing today. Um, they're proving themselves. So the manager's got a group of, how can I, I wouldn't say mercenaries. That's Again, that's probably the wrong word, but he's got a group of unlikely lads to be performing all together at the top, uh, top of their game. Um, Danny Ings, and he just came up on the ticker at the bottom there. So I think it's his 50th goal for Southampton, am I right in saying? Yeah. Yes, sir, um, it's 50th Premier League goal, that's he's right. Been, yeah, he's been waiting for it, and he gets it against his old club, and it's a great finish. But again, the manager and the emotion was, was shown there at the end of the game. You know, he, he's so in, uh, intrinsic in everything that Southampton as a football club seem to be doing that he's getting the best out of everybody, no matter where their position in their career be it towards the latter stages, if you're in your 30s or whatever, or on your, as I say, on your upward trajectory for James Ward-Prowse. And if, considering I've got it so wrong today, if Southampton do finish in the top six, then, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they go through their, um, through their next phase of, uh, of development, whether it is in the transfer market or whether it is bringing through, as they traditionally do, younger players to, to stay at the club, not as a feeder for bigger clubs. Well, it is Danny Ng's uh, 50th Premier League goal in general, but I, I do want to point out one thing about James Ward-Prowse is that the, the name, the new Matt Letizia, seems to be one that connects with him a bit. <laughs> is, is it a fair comparison then, David? He's better than Matt Letizia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Matt, the, the thing was South Africa, I, I think, you know, uh, respectfully, you know, when Matt Letizia was playing for Southampton, they were a very small club in the Premier League. 
um, arguably rele relegation fodder. But now James Ward Prowse is part of the Southampton side who are doing good things and, and James is doing it internationally. I think Matt Letissé, did he have one cap for England? I'm not sure if he, if he had one. Um, but James Ward Prowse, continuing this sort of form, will be an England regular for, for seasons to come. So uh, if anything, he, yeah, he's the new James Ward Prowse, not the uh, new Matt Letissé. <laughs> but if you Southampton fans want that, you're entitled to it. <laughs>